Hello and a very warm welcome to round eight of the late breaking online racing league. My name is Ben Hocking. I am Harry Eid. And usually Sam Sage will be doing his intro right about now. Unfortunately, he's not racing today. Uh, much like uh, Noob, our championship leader isn't racing either. Uh, Charlie as well in fourth. So we've got a couple of the big names out. Uh, as you can probably tell, we're actually building up for the race. We recorded qualifying. It was a really exciting session. Bilal Khan got pole, as you can probably see on the left-hand side of your screen. There were just one thousandth of a second between Gilly and Jack Hickey. It was so exciting. We're um, pretty annoyed. I think that that phrase could be said right now. Yeah. But yes, you've got Khan's in fourth after them. Lopez in fifth. Mainers in sixth. Janssen seventh. Siema eighth. Curly Apex in ninth. Santa Cruz tenth. Purple Petrol is 11th, Pat O'Hagan 12th, and Brian Moncarni is 13th. Just, just trust us, it was an exciting qualifying session. Yeah. Um, yeah. Four tenths separating <laughs> the top four guys. Very annoying, but yeah, we're set for a pretty great race, and as we were saying in, in qualifying, um, we are yeah, missing a few people, some of the big contenders, so it means that Jack, the likes of Jack Kiki and uh, Khans, they've got a big chance to gain some points today. Absolutely, if Jack Hickey were to take victory today, he would go to within just six points of the championship lead and noob, uh, and he'd propel himself into second. And there's much to be gained from the guys in behind as well, Khans, Gilly, and obviously Bilal Khan, who's starting from first. Everyone outside of that top 10 is going for the soft tire. So that's Brian Moncani, Pat O'Hagan, and Purple Petrol. Pat O'Hagan and Brian McCartney missing qualifying, so they are in incorrect cars, but we can we, we have imaginations, don't we? Yeah. So Pat's in a McLaren, obviously, and Brian's in a Ferrari. Look at it in its red glory. We did see Carnes and Gilly very nearly pull off a super soft strategy. Uh, in the end, they decided to go back on their second stint on ultra soft tyres and set faster laps. So that's what they'll start the race on. Uh, it should be a two stopper you're probably going to do two stops on the ultra soft tires and one on the super soft tires very similar strategy to uh to the us yeah when we saw it came into play for jack kiki last week um maybe didn't work quite as he planned but it was certainly gave us an interesting race so Bilal khan after securing his first pole position in league racing he's going to get us underway it's lights out away we go the australian grand prix is away and Bilal khan has managed to keep the lead and hickey's had a good start i think he's got gilly it's going to be interesting going into that first corner siam has managed to make up a number of places and hickey has managed to keep that place but it's not over yet carnage at the back i think khan's has been mixed up in that yeah i think lopez has mi missed out as well pat o'hagan's up a number of places and Jack Kiki's taking second place off of Gilly. Mena, Santa Cruz up two and five places respectively. Carnes misses out. Yeah, so Santa Cruz has got Carnes behind him now. So I don't know what happened to Carnes at the start, but yeah, there was a bit of mayhem going to the first corner. And an overtaking opportunity there. The Renault trying to make the move on Lopez. He's already missed out on three places thus far. Curly Apex looking to pick up one there. Oh, and there's three cars going at it. Trying to get past Pat O'Hagan, who must have had a cracking start. He's all the way up. Yeah. He was all the way up in eighth, down to ninth now. We've got further back. Yeah, there was contact there between Siema and Purple Petrol. They're both going very slowly, so I think there's damage to both. Yeah, I think Purple Petrol's got yeah some damage on his front wing. Janssen's just stopped. Yeah, not quite sure what's happened there. And Brian McCartney's well down, so I don't know what happened to him at the start. Anyway, Bilal Khan leads by just half a second from Jack Kiki. Gilly in third. Hickey's going to be delighted that he's managed to get Gilly off the start. And these three starting to pull out a bit of a gap on Maynard. And Janssen, who was part not moving at all, has been disqualified from the session. Oh, this is incredibly close here. Lopez into the pits early. Front wing damage, you'd think. Hickey's not giving up the ghost just yet. He's taking it easy though, he doesn't want to get caught up because Bilal Khan isn't in this championship hunt, but he obviously wants a win. Yeah, Bilal Khan, we could see a late surge from him in the second half of the season. Main is still in fourth quite a bit the way back now and has got Khan's for company. For Not someone you want to see in your mirrors. I mean, he has got Khan's for company, I think Khan's is gone. Yeah, and Khan's manages to make the move on the Toro Rosso, nicely done there. 
clean overtaking move. Main has not given up though. We saw last week he's a he's a dogged fighter. Mayna was involved in a number of scraps. But I think Carnes is probably gonna get away there. Yeah. I Santa Cruz has had a great start, as has Pat O'Hagan. I mean well Bilal Khan's into third. Bilal Khan, what has happened there? I think he might have bottled it by the list of things. And Jack Kicky now leaves with Gilly just behind him. That is a shame. Gilly sets the fastest lap of the race in second. That is very interesting indeed. Bilal Khan and Hickey must have been going at it. Oh, oh Bilal, Bilal Khan. Khan! It's very nearly been so there. nearly in the wall. And now he's got his brother coming up right behind him. Khan looking to make a move on Khan. And he's got all the momentum in the world, and I think that means he's going to get the move done. He does. And Bilal Khan, after getting away in first, is all the way down in fourth now. Yeah, that's just a disastrous second lap for the uh, older Khan brother. Curly Apex is into the pits, so that could be it's front wing front change. Wing damage, yeah. So we've got a yellow in sector two. Who is that? Not in. Oh, Santa Cruz, after such a great start. Uh, he's missing a front wing and missing now more of a front wing. <laughs> I think that amounts to zero front wing. Yeah, he had about half and then now he's got zero trying to recover from his half. Yeah, I think, you know, there's no point in the car being in balance. They might as well just be really slow all over. Meanwhile, Papa Petrol's going to try and make a move. He should be able to do it because he's got a whole front wing now. Uh, well, I don't I think don't he does, he, actually. He's got more of a front wing than Santa Cruz does, anyway. It's a front wing battle for eighth. Uh, Mayna's into the pits now, surprisingly. That seems very early. Uh, nothing wrong in terms wow, of... that's extremely yeah. early. Brian McCartney's retired from the second. Oh, and that's... Yeah, that's a Could Williams that in a the wall. Car? I mean, it's pretty near to the racing line. -ish. I mean, Mayna would have absolutely loved it if the safety car came out then. Yeah, so Jack Hickey's just gone past. Yeah, Jack Hickey starting to build out a bit of a gap to Gilly in second. Seems to have a slight edge in terms of pace. Two seconds between them. Uh, Khan's a couple of seconds further back. He could very well uh, force the action. But he's going to have Bilal Khan still behind him. Yeah, I think Bilal Khan's got the pace. It's just a shame he, uh, he sort of messed up that second lap slightly. And I think Lopez is in the wars because he's had to pit once more. So in four laps, Lopez has come into the pits twice. Yeah, another front wing change with the looks of things there for Lopez. Can I just say, Pat O'Hagan, Pat O'Hagan, he's got Siema all over him though. The battle for fifth here. We've seen a number of opportunities for overtaking here already, and Siema's playing it very, very dangerously. And that's going to give Pat O'Hagan some relief. No, Pat. Pat has gone a bit wide, and now Siema's going to come back again. So Siema gets it done. Jack Kiki is just pulling away at the front. We've got another yellow in sector one. Could be purple petrol. Oh, it's Pat oh. Hagen. Oh, Pat. He it lost was... a bit of his front wing as well. I was about to say it was going so well, but it is still going so well because he did start 12th, remember? Um, but yeah, that's not exactly what he would have wanted. And Mayna's going to approach Siema soon enough. Yeah, Mayna with that rather odd first stop. For I don't think it's for damage. So it seemed very early. We kind of got lap eight pegged down as the main lap for guys to come in. We've got Bilal and Khan, Bilal Khan and Khan's 007 catching Gilly hand over fist. It's just 1.2 now. This, this race is really going to close this championship up if it finishes like this. Siema is into the pits. That was after Mayna managed to pass him. Good. Right. I'm not sure why. I think that may be... When is the first pit stop supposed to be? It, between sort of... That lap six is the earliest you could go in. Lap eight is probably the lap people are looking for. Or Ooh. lap seven. Calms. 007. Just a bit wide there. <coughs> there is now just one second between second and fourth place. A lot of championship points at stake here. Oh, Bilal Khan takes a slightly different line into that corner and I don't think it served him too well. Khan's has got away slightly. Yeah, that's allowed Gilly just a, just a little bit of breathing space. But Meanwhile, yeah, an interesting battle for sixth as Lopez on super soft tyres sets the fastest lap of the race. Oh, Pat Pat a bit of a bit wide. Yeah, and CM is right there looking to take advantage. Yeah, Lopez is rather down and out of position now. We've seen Lopez, no matter what the situation is, Gilly's into the pits. Lopez, whatever the situation, he's been able to recover. 
whether he's had incidents, hasn't had incidents, and he's scored points, and good points at every single race, so do not discount him yet. They're a pretty solid pairing, the Haas team. Gilly is changing Oh, maybe wing. that's why he was slightly slower. Right. That so would make sense. Yeah, onto the super soft then. And he's managed to live with it long enough that he can keep to that two-stop strategy. Bilal has dropped back significantly from his brother now, so has he had another mistake? Yeah, I think after a couple of really good laps, there have been a couple of scruffy ones. Yeah, I think Khan's, it's important for the two Khan's now. Oh, yeah, he's pushing. He needs to try and jump Gilly in his pit stop phase, because they must be coming up, yeah, lap 8 to 10, so the next la couple of laps or so, and you would, will be in. Yeah. I mean, you would imagine with that front wing change, they will clear Gilly. Yeah, they should do. Yeah, don't be surprised to see Gilly as the fastest person on oh. circuit at the minute, as Khan's goes into the pits and on lap 7 as does his brother both into the pits then so it's only Jack Hickey going one lap longer out of the front runners so what does Khan's put on he's gone for the super soft that's the same as what Gilly went with and it is the same for Bilal so they'll probably be looking to take that to probably lap 20 something like that maybe a little longer I was going to say, I'm not sure if Maynard's going to jump them. I don't think he will. He uh, might get Bilal Khan. Ooh, Maynard is going to get Bilal Khan. And Gilly is, yeah, you're right. He's he going to separate them. Yeah, well, over the last couple of the races, Hickey's been the one on alternate strategies, trying to make things work. In Russia, we saw that he didn't pit for Inters. Probably the correct strategy, but had front wing damage that cost him the win. US, he tried an alternate strategy. Didn't quite work out for him. But I think today he's going to be on the standard two-stopper. Yeah, in yeah. he comes then. He's gone a little bit longer, but he's got such a big lead that he should be absolutely fine. We've got a couple of really close battles, actually, because Gilly's closed up to just three temps behind Bilal Khan, and Lopez has made the move on Purple Petrol for seven. Yeah, you're right. Gilly is right there behind him. You'd imagine with Khan's pitting one lap earlier, he might close up slightly, but it was about a five-second gap. Yeah, let's have a look at across the line. Jack Hickey's away, yeah. Comfortable enough. Meanwhile, Lopez will be looking to get back into sixth. He's gone into the pits uh, yet again, actually, so I don't know if that's front wing related. Yeah, I think it was. Oh, he's missing a bit of front wing, so Lopez in the wars again. I commend Lopez on his uh, resiliency, because that's, I think, now three front wing changes. That's it's once every three laps. But he's so not far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't think we've actually seen any of the incidents related to that. Gilly did just set the fastest lap of the race, but Bilal's taken that away from him. Uh, and Gilly's got it back once more. I do not think there's a lot between these guys. Not at all. And yeah, Main is doing pretty well up at the front. Well, up at the front in third. And at the moment, it's a Toro Rosso 1-3. Yeah, uh, Toro Rosso are making Ooh. up ground in the Constructors' Championship. They are just five points away from third now. So a good race weekend, because neither Williams driver is racing. Bilal is on the edge. And Kans is out! Kans is in the wall! Has he hit? Who's he hit there? Who's in the McLaren? Is that Santa Th Cruz? That could be related to Santa is. Cruz. We're not 100% sure what's happened there, apart from Kans will take no further part in this race. Disaster again for Kans. Tyre dangling from the front right. And just as I say it's a 1 3, it's a 1 2 for the Toro Rosso team. Jack Kiki has obviously no idea what's happened behind him other than Khans is no longer racing it's going to be good wide. yeah Gilly takes advantage of that the Khans in the space of a lot the Khans brothers are having a bit of a mare oh bit wide there for Mena bit twitchy Gilly's got a good Gilly's exit. gonna have a look on the outside and oh. Gilly seems to have all the momentum going into that wow. corner makes the move Good stuff from Gilly. He's back into second where he started the race. Uh, as Jack Hickey sets the fastest lap of the race, he's got an eight second gap now. Just to rub some salt into the open wound, Jack Hickey sets the fastest lap. Uh, and you can see, yeah, Gilly is slowly getting away from Maynard now. It was uh, about half a second. Now it's up to one second. And it's soon approaching one and a half seconds. Yeah, oh, oh! Did Gilly get caught up in that? I missed that then. Oh yeah, the Has he got front wing damage? And, and Main is having a look. Main and nearly gets oh, him and it's Gilly's got a little wide. Struggles to control it going out of the corner. Holds on to second just about. 
So I, th I don't think he, I think he's got away with it. I think he, could, but he caught Pat O'Hagan, I think, through that fast left right, which is not what you want to catch a slow car. Exactly. And I he had to get out, get out the throttle completely, but I think he's got away with it. From what I can see, it seems to be all right, other than the fact that he's lost ground on Hickey and he's got a Toro Rosso in his mirrors. Oh, Mena, that's... That is a lot of the corner. <laughs> Big old chunk. <laughs> That's an interesting line through the first corner there. I'll tell you what, Australia has a bit of a reputation for being one of the circuits that has less excitement, shall we say? Not so in the late breaking online racing league. No. F1, Chase Carey, take note. Yeah. We did it in Russia as well. I know. Take all the boring races, put them online, we'll do the rest. Jack Hickey, I mean, obviously he ha doesn't have the, the data we do, Doesn't isn't able to see what's going on behind him. He's seen Khan retire, and now he's seen that Gilly's another four seconds back than he was. Yeah, it's going to be painful watching for uh, if it stays like this for our championship contenders, Noob, Charlie, and uh, and Sam the Googles. But got to be in it to win it, they say. Santa Cruz. Oh, is out and of Santa session. Cruz is out. Three From wheels on the McLaren. As you can say, Santa Cruz has binned it. Stuff. I mean, we said it was going to happen, but we're losing them thick and fast now. Yeah, indeed, and Lopez is now looking... Oh! I uh, thought Lopez was going to hit the stationary McLaren then. Yeah, presumably it would, it would ghost through, but... Never say never, say never on yeah, this game. Exactly. Um, the yellows might still be related to Santa Cruz, I I'm, think I'm it not is, too yeah. sure. But Lopez is actually rapidly gained on uh, Curly Apex for sixth place, so the fight back continues for Lopez. At this rate, Lopez is going to finish fifth with seven pit stops. <laughs> A new record. <laughs> it would be impressive. Lopez, meanwhile, is all over Curly Apex. Surely a move is going to happen sometime Is he going to go for the inside there? No, backs out of it. He's going for it there. Oh, oh Horn Lopez, he's having a look again. It's not an overtaking corner, it's too fast through there. Surely DRS, yep, will be open this straight. Yep, DRS is going to help him quite a bit. Uh, get in a rich mix, mate. <laughs> See, it's not just commentary. We give advice as well. Exactly. Not that he can hear us right now. No. Lopez does get the move done, so he didn't even need to use his rich mix. Uh, and obviously, with the way the DRS works in Australia, he'll also get the DRS despite being in front here. Uh, and Mayner, we well, we presume that Mayner was going on to a three-stopper, but perhaps... He'll be sticking with that two stopper because. I think he might be now because he can set, surely stick another set of super softs on from here. Get to the end. Absolutely, yeah. Um, In which case, that two stop, or oh, that early stop, has worked out an absolute treat. Exactly, yeah. Mainer's in for most probably his best result of the season. Fingers crossed, touch oh. wood, all the rest of it. Uh, speak of the pit devil, into the pits. As out front I mean it's 13 and a half seconds Jack Hickey we know is very quick and to be fair to Gilly he's not really increasing his lead much at the minute but it's not going down either no that's the problem and even if it was you're looking at a second per lap to even catch up to him meanwhile Siemens in the pits so Bilal Khan takes back fourth place and he puts on a super soft tyres perhaps most interestingly will be where Siema comes out in comparison to Lopez Ooh, there is Lopez now. Be interesting. Where's Siema? Siema's just coming out. Yeah, and you can see that is Jack. the Toro Rosso of Jack Hickey, who is going to lap. Uh, and Lopez is about four and a half seconds back, four seconds back. So, can Lopez? So, Lopez got to stop. Well, I mean, he's been in the pits enough. Does he have to stop again? He might have to. Yes, I think he has to stop once right. more. Uh, but we know Lopez is quick. He was in second for a lot of qualifying with it. You didn't see because, of course, you didn't see it. Something went wrong. It was good. Again, we'll re-emphasise. It was good. It was really good. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be a boring one next week and you will catch all of it. <laughs> I mean, if, if Lopez ends up in fifth place here, that's a really good drive. Consider, I mean, I don't know if the the crashes were his fault, like of his own doing, but considering he's been in three times already, yeah, it was um, the worst start imaginable for Lopez, really. But you have to make do with the circumstances. And he's not let his head drop. He's kept going. Uh, Mayner is into the pits from third. Oh, he's damaged his front wing. Oh no, that is disastrous. He should. 
Ooh. Now it's very interesting to see where he ends up with Bilal Khan. And just as we were saying that Bilal Khan's in the middle Bilal of Bilal Khan goes past him. He takes P3. Incredible. Bilal Khan, this is going to be interesting. Bilal Khan is on the technically slower tyre and they are slightly older. But he's got a lot of pace on him. I would love to know what happened to Maine. I didn't see any yellow flags, did you? No, no. Um, Has he just hit a car? I don't know. And unfortunately, a certain podium looks like it's not going to be quite as good as that. Lopez, not very far off Siema now. Yeah, Siema very deep into that corner. Oh, he's in the oh, wall! Oh, and that's not what Siema would have wanted. And Lopez's pass is made that much easier. Whole of that front left gone. Absolutely gone. That's gutting for him. And Siema's going to have to make an extra pit stop. But yeah. he should come out in front of his teammate because he's yeah. got a solid 32 seconds back to him. Yeah, presuming that in lap isn't too slow, that should be fine. And he, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to bin it again. I know he is starting over the screen because of slight connection issues. Oh, <laughs> I was about to say that is very late breaking. But he's caught Lopez, even though he's got half a front wing. So Siema's going to come back at him. Yes, yeah, Siema's not done yet. As Gilly takes a three-second time penalty. Oh, and for multiple warnings and oh dear, that's that's not what you wanted. Yeah, Siema's gone too deep. That front wing damage is hurt. And Maine is into the pits again. What? Why? What for now? That, I'm. That is up there with Siema taking intermediates at Bahrain. I'm rather flummoxed. I. So that means Lopez is now to fourth. One. Yeah, Mena has dropped to sixth on on the soft tyres. The, the front wing looked fine. Yeah, it didn't look um, damaged to me. It still looks fine. Well, just when we thought the whole race was settling down, we had our order, and Main is shaking things up by pitting twice extra than he needs to, I think. Fight Lopez back. is in fourth! <laughs> the fight back continues for the man who's made about a million pit stops this afternoon. I, I don't even know Lopez will know how he's in fourth place, but he is! It's bonkers, absolutely bonkers, and Siena hasn't come in to change his front wing, so he's just going to battle on with that front wing damage. He's actually got Mainer not far behind him. And yeah, I, I think Mainer will be able to get that move done. Providing he doesn't pit again. Uh, hopefully he doesn't. Maybe just, uh, just, loves the just an error. Or maybe he just, he didn't, he messed up that final corner enough that he was forced in there. I don't know. Ooh. Watch yourself. You're slightly better through that corner because of the front wing. So Mainer gets in the slipstream. Slipstream. Mena looking to make up a place that he once had. He's looking for fifth. Siema defends well. DRS once more. Can he get the move done this time? As Jack Ickey's into the pits from first. And he's going to let Siema go on. wide. Oh. And oh, you thought Siema might lose it there. He's done well to hold it. And Mena now is. Siema. Oh, oh, he's lost more front wing. The front wing's gone again. Siema didn't have the correct line going into that corner. It was much slower as a result. Mena, plow straight into the back of him. There's just going to be another pit stop. I mean, it's not helped by the fact that Siema's jumping all over the screen. Not his fault, but... Yeah, it's, uh, it's clunky. I mean, is Lopez just going to go to the end? I'm not sure when he pitted last. Surely he can. He pitted well before halfway. You could you know put on a set of ultra softs to go to the oh, end. it was it was lap nine he pitted for a third pit stop on lap nine yeah i think he came in after that again though oh has he yeah it did seem a little early but to put on the super soft tires to go to the end is there something i can look at stops there we go lopez has had three stops yeah so lap nine yeah it would have been that then i guess in which case they must be absolutely killing him yeah. oh, we've got a position change because Oh, Pat oh, Hagen's got no front wing. Now that really is no front wing. He definitely got a pit for that one. So Pat Hagen falls to the back of the group into ninth place. Still a couple of points, but... Disaster for the McLaren driver in the Red Bull this week. Apparently oh, Papa Petra's come in as well. So it doesn't matter. He's got the position. He's just coming for a, another set of ultra softs. Yeah, perhaps. Well, if he was on the ultra softs, he would have struggled to get to the end. Uh, and there will be a front wing change which will give Purple Petrol the gap that he needs. 
Mina once again looking to oh, overtake Jeremy, again. and it's the other side this time. Oh, this time he might have to come in as he lets his teammate through. Wow, that was lucky for Jack. He didn't get tangled up in that one with such a big lead. I tell you what, Gilly is absolutely storming it on the ultra soft tyres because yeah. he's set another fastest lap. I think he's done that about four times in this race now. Oh, look at the understeer there. Oh, it's disgusting, isn't it? Lopez has had a pretty incredible record so far because he's scored points at every race and he's been between fourth and eighth every time but no podiums as of yet and it doesn't look as if that's going to change today as Mayna is into the pits I mean he's got it now he's not really got any front wing so he goes on to the ultra softs he oh Cody Apex is going to take away so Mayna down to seventh now it oh, Mayna was in second for a time <laughs> It was a Toro Rosso 1-2. Yeah, it's crumbled away. I mean, by basis of finishing the race, it will still be solid points, but it could have been even more. Could have been way, way, way more, I think. He'll be quick, though. He'll be quick, but I'm not sure he'll... I don't think he'll make that gap up. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, Giddy's now, I think, spent all of his pace and petrol. And he's starting to drop back now from Jack Hickey. We've got a yellow in Yellow. three. Oh, it's Lopez! Lopez. No. We don't know what's happened there. There was a car that just went past. Yeah, I think that was... I don't know who that was. So Lopez obviously pushing hard. Those tyres, they've got to be absolutely knackered by now. Because he's been on them since lap nine. Is it time to make a pit stop? Because he's... I'm starting to question whether we've got this right. Because that, that seems... I mean... I'm sure it's... his third pit stop was lap nine. Yeah, I mean, it's doable, but at, at this point, they must be roasting. Yeah. No, indeed. I mean, if these two have been closer, what yeah. a race we'd have had, because they've just been pegging each other all race. Fastest lap trades all the way. Yeah. I think it would have been very interesting indeed. As it happens, Hickey was the one who, who got away from the pack, and he stayed there. And I think if the reverse was true, Gilly would have done the same, to be, to be honest. Um, well, another yellow. And Who is it this time? Yellows galore. Siema picks up three seconds. I think it's Paul Hagen again, but it looks things. Could but be. But Alcander's the... Oh! oh no! And Pat O'Hagan just a few laps away from finishing the race. We'll have to get the calculators out and work out whether he did 90% of the race or not. Because if he did... Possibly. He might well have done actually. I think he might have done enough that he will pick up points. We'll, we'll confirm that. But so Lopez lets his teammate through. Let's Gilly go through. Hey, it's going to be a productive day for the Haas team once more. Second and fourth. Yeah, I'm astonished by Lopez. I can't believe he's. I mean, though he's span. Yeah, I think the super soft tyres, as a rule, we were saying something close to 13, 14 laps on them. But if what we think is true, he's done 18. That's ridiculous. What, what, what is good is he won't have to do a 29th lap. Because he's been lapped. So this... So if he is struggling... Yeah, this will be his final... Uh, maybe this will mm, be his final lap. This won't be his final lap, no. It'll yeah, be the one, one after. It's been a very impressive drive from Jack Hickey. Uh, unbelievably so. Cat just kept his nose clean, he nailed uh, Gilly at the start and then he just had Bilal Khan in front of him. We didn't see what happened to Bilal Khan but I think he must have fallen off the road somewhere. And uh, yeah, and since then Jack Hickey has just not looked back. Behind him Bilal Khan obviously is in line for his best performance of the season uh, and Gilly with his second place would go on to 59 points, exactly the same amount as Khan's. Well, I see. And can I just point out, Siema has been catching Lopez pretty quickly. Oh, Lopez is oh, off! Oh, Lopez! And as I say that... And Siema's through! Oh, you thought Lopez was going to get that fourth place. He nearly, nearly did. He was in that fantastic battle with Charlie for fourth last week. Oh, those tyres. There's got to be those tyres. must be absolutely rooted. Look at him! Oh, oh no. spinning all round. Just save it! Keep it out of the barriers. Come on, Lopez. You've got, a got Curly Apex not far behind. Oh, those tyres must be just dead. Oh, there is Curly There Apex. is Curly. Two seconds behind. I think this will, this be, no, this will be his final lap coming up now. He's just got to keep it together. Fifth versus sixth. Lopez versus Curly, Curly Apex. Ten points for the victor. 
Curly Apex must be like a shark now. He can, he can sense the blood. He can taste the fear. He can pick up the pieces. <laughs> as he, exactly, as he always does. Look, Curly Apex is so close to him. Eight tenths. That's it. Oh, Lopez is gone. Oh, Lopez is struggling really bad. And Another Curly place. Apex through for fifth. Jack Hickey though, out front, a dominant race for him. Toro Rosso driver Hickey picks up his second race of the year. It's a win for Jack Hickey, 17. Great stuff from the guy. Fantastic drive, fantastic drive. A pretty great drive from Gilly, to be honest. He's done pretty well. I know he had an incident earlier on, but... He had that front wing damage, but has recovered for second place. 18 points in the bag, he's gonna be happy with that. It's going to be a oh, while Bilal before. Oh, Khan's off. Yeah, Bilal Khan, unfortunately, has a huge gap back. Otherwise He's lost that... a bit of front wing as well. Yeah, maybe it is a good thing that he is so far ahead of... Oh, yeah, because Siema's finished. Yeah, Siema has finished up in... Lopez fourth. is off again! Lopez, oh, it's been a disastrous last couple of laps. Oh, that... I mean, it was a bold call, and it almost worked. He almost picked up fourth place after what was a pretty disastrous race. He can't keep the thing in a straight line. Just make sure you don't retire, Lopez. Pick up the points. Uh, it's a Renault 4 5, Sioma 4th, Curly Apex 5th. Lopez crosses the line in 6th, which means we're just waiting on Mayna. Oh, Balaz comes straight and on Bilal again. Oh, Khan. As Mayna and is. himself from. Um, yeah, Balal. Oh, dear. I don't know what's happened there. So he's obviously had some contact with the wall, and now the thing just won't turn whatsoever. It's a bit of a crawl, but it will be a crawl all the way to the podium. Yeah, it's a big old crawl, but he's, he's going to do it. Mayna's going to come across the line yeah. in seventh. It looked like it was going to be more for Mayna, but it's still points. Bilal Khan's going to pick up third, and that's going to do it for the Australian Grand Prix. An eventful affair that Jack Kiki has taken. We'll run through the official classification in just a second. And there you can see the guy on the top step, Jack Hickey, surrounded by a Red Bull driver, that's Bilal Khan. Gilly in second, jubilation for the team. It's a great drive. Nice to see another person on the top step. Hickey reignites his championship hopes. And there is the official classification. Jack Hickey wins the race after starting in third. Gilly holds position. He's in second for yet another podium. Bilal Khan is third. Couldn't quite hold on to the pole position he gained, but a good race nonetheless. Siema was fourth, his best result of the season. Curly Apex returns to form. He's in fifth. Lopez Matias Fly was in the wars all day, but manages to come away with sixth. Looked like it was going to be a couple better than that at one point. Mayna is seventh. Again, it looked as if it was going to be much better for him. Have to settle for seventh. Purple Petrol was the final finisher in eighth. We'll have to work out whether Pat O'Hagan completed 90%. He was in ninth. Santa Cruz in tenth definitely didn't. He retired. Khan's 007, also a retirement for him. And Brian Moncarney, the last retirement before Janssen was disqualified on the opening lap. And that's going to do it. Thank you very much for tuning in. I've been Ben Hocking. And I've been Harry Eade. Make sure to tune in next week where we will be at Singapore. Keep breaking late.